Hey, everybody, welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, it's Operation Tiger Curse. Turncoat in the stacks, very difficult. Uh, vehicle breach options, dark event. Taking out Torque, Axiom, Verge, and Blue Blood. Uh, Verge has the uh, Motile Inducer, so target ally gains two actions immediately. Pretty happy with that. Um, everyone's set up with med kits. We have tranquilizers here, AP rounds here, and then we have the bubble grenade over on Torque. Uh, we don't have a special assault rifle, but it is enhanced at least. So he's getting a little bit of extra damage there, I believe. Yeah, plus one damage. Let's rock and roll. First time that we're going to bring Verge out in this campaign. So let's have some fun, shall we? When we get back, we're going to be gaining some uh, city anarchy. VIP. Hostiles incoming. Get to the evac. On it. Okay, first unit is rooted. That changes things. That changes things. A t just a tiddlywink. Uh, we could probably put Verge there. Then we go Smoke Bomb second. Axiom Blue Blood. I don't love it, but he's got disables. Um, for the first couple rounds, he probably doesn't need to shoot. I would like having Axiom up sooner, but Time to you know break. what? Can't get everything you want. Just gonna make it work. Okay, so that's a lot of enemies. Resonant, Trooper, Bomber, Acolyte, Bruiser, Big Brute right around that corner that I cannot reach. It's possible to kill the Thralls. We'll go for this. Got five, all right. I'm gonna go Poison on this Brute. A lot of armor. Then... We have the stock. We can pick up that kill if we want. 72 on that resonant. 5 to 7 isn't bad. Anything below that feels feels sad. I'm just going to clear the field a bit. Okay, sleepy sleeps. And then I might even... If we go Lancer shot here, bring him down. We could get the 4. Sadness. Oh, they went on Torque. She got the crazy dodge. That's the VIP. Target oh, cool. Spotted. This is the arms dealer. <laughs> okay, awesome. Oh, of course, the bomber's going for him. Of course. I actually don't know if we've even seen what this bomber can do. Motile Inducer and Team Up. That just seems so incredibly strong. You could literally, like... Okay, so let's say I wanted Axiom to go. I could... Throw Motile Inducer on him. Let's say it was Axiom's turn, like... Next. Anyway, whatever. You get the idea. Motile Inducer, two actions. Then you go Team Up. And these are all... This is all free. And then you can still do your own stuff. And we are rooted here. So, if I go into Stupor, it's at 90%. He's got higher will so it's not guaranteed i think this is the stupor that we attempt he's already there though that's the problem and i don't think that's gonna add any real benefit to us who's who's close to us where's four bruiser back there Okay, so you know what? Here's what we'll do. Um, I think we're gonna motile induce right now. I don't. I like that I can just target them too. It's not even like a. If it was a throwable. How cool would that be? You could give people multiple actions. So let's say I throw this on Axiom. I come over here for some smash, smash, and then I start running towards that other guy. Then I could team up. Give Axiom another go and get real far down there. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're going to go Adrenal Surge. Psych up a couple times. And then I'm going to 
I'm going to team up Axiom as well. So he goes after this. <laughs> this is cool. Okay. I'm going to go from this side. 89%. Disoriented. Okay, that's... Uh, how low is he now? Three. We still have a long time to wait on him. He is poisoned. Uh, but can I even reach anybody else? I could reach this Acolyte. Oh, whoops. Oh, we have... It's weird. See how Verge is like uh, the active one there? Okay. This is nice that it shows whose turn you're acting on. Ready for action. I think we wrap around here to this Acolyte, getting as close to this guy as we can. Come on! That may be a blessing in disguise because he doesn't go rage. And then we still have his turn. So who do we want to knock down? Stun a target for one to two actions and add them to the neural network. This is tracking the neural network. And then every um, person you have in there, you get plus 10 aim. There's a future upgrade for Verge, which gets aim and crit, I believe. I believe. I'll just, I'll just go for the next guys in the timeline. Get in my network. Resisted. Oh, okay. That's not good. That is not good. If I go Battle Madness, this trooper potentially goes on that bomber. Enemies all around you. Yeah, no, no, no. go. We don't know what he's going to do, Target but uh, he chose the Resonant. That's still damage. Still damage. Okay, so now I think we come in here on this bomber and we go rapid fire trying to get rid of him. I'll probably psych up to five. Come on, get to safety. Who wants some? Uh... Rapid fire here. All this armor sucks, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I wish that the, it didn't trigger the second part first, but damn, that's cool. Okay, now my arms dealer. So no one is currently targeting him. And... Yeah, I just... You know, I'm worried, like, if I put him right here, obviously this bruiser is going to get an opportunity to uh, deal with him. But he's not targeting. So I'm still, like, kind of testing this to see if the only people ever that target your VIP always show the thing. I can reach it. Silence weighs you down. Okay, he's lifting. Yeah, so they seem to only... Nice. Seems to operate that way. That we would expect, I guess. If I go poison spit here... What do we... How do we kill this brute? 41? Hmm. This trooper is going next. Ooh, I can pull. We can pull the brute. Okay, so hold on. So we'll poison spit here. And we have a 75% chance of pulling the Brute. Oh! That was a little stickier than usual. Just 
go to sleep. I do actually wish that that, that bind was a, sl a sleep maneuver. It wasn't a uh, damage maneuver. Or like a kill maneuver. Might be too strong. Okay, he's actually in pretty big trouble over there. If this trooper goes for him... Oh, shrug it off. He's at, he's at max rage. He's boosting everybody. Okay. I wonder with this angle if I can get these two and him for this stacking damage. Only one way to find out, right? Remember, the enemies take more the more you hit. So the ones further back. Uh, the angle doesn't quite work out here. No. So it's just these two, but that's okay. That's... I love it. Okay, so we have reinforcements coming now. This guy's going for the target. Uh, we should start moving. We're going to have reinforcements over here, too. He's the only one I can target. So the reason we can't target these, by the way, is because they're already in the neural network. And so once you target them once, you can't use these skills again. But we are getting a bunch of extra aim. So 76 here. Neural network plus 20. Basically negating his low cover. Now that sucks. Low on ammo. Shrug it off again. <laughs> Axie baby. 2 HP regen. He's still at 5. It's time to go berserk, buddy. Let's heal. Go in this acolyte next. Okay. The stun actually works way better there because he maintains uh, the neural network link. Now, this guy's going to go for our arms dealer next. So, that means Torque has to land this pull and bind, which he should. Let's go here. So, we'll start moving up. Watch me move. We do have this bubble That's grenade it. that can get us out of some trouble. 95. It's going to pull him into the poison, too. But it uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. Because it's only going to deal the two. We still need to bind. Don't okay. Oh, we panicked. Yikes. Ooh, that's a good panic. <laughs> that's a good panic. I'll say. Okay, blue blood. Um, I think in this scenario, we just move up and we overwatch this right side. They could spawn on either one. Who knows? I'll keep an eye out. We are counting on you. Ah, uh, frick. Why reinforcements? Why? Why does this happen? Chimera Squad. Just reinforcements it crashes on. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll probably just have to go to the previous turn, but... Bummerville. Yeah, she gone. Now, oh, see, yeah, the same thing happened before where it crashes on reinforcements and then the reinforcements get pushed all the way to the bottom. That's too bad, man. That's too bad. Really, it is. Okay, well, what are you going to do? There's nothing I can do about it. 
Got your back. Ooh, nice. We'll just take that as a... Almost dry. Maybe they got scared. So here's another good example. Out of the way. Guaranteed damage from him. 73 is still okay, but... I'm happy about that. Okay, so you leave. We'll see if the reinforcements crashes again. I hope not. There's. I wonder if there's like a very specific set of circumstances that trigger for that. Okay, we're panicked there. We'll set up an Overwatch again. If they move, I'll shoot. And then. Oh, oh, they're like completely broken. Okay. There will be no reinforcements this game. Or this round, I should say. Alrighty. No Incoming. Not like it would have posed a huge problem anyways. Looks like there was, what, three coming in? Panic's removed. Yeah, see? just keeps moving to the bottom. That's okay. We handled it well, considering the couple of things that went wrong. Still happy with the mission. Slithering. Alrighty. 60% chance for intel. We'll take. In, uh, well, we got the intel from the mission. So City Anarchy is up to one. That's totally fine. Shock Grenade and Flux Weave. Locals say the best jobs are in the stacks. And it's hard to argue. Funny thing, five years ago, I had my head down. Today, I'm proud of the city. What we're making here is going to change the world once we can reliably deliver it to the world. Cool. All right. So here one point of City Palace, Anarchy. We want everyone to enjoy our food. This That's is just going to continue. It all starts with our patties, ranked a seven on the cross species consumability index. But that's not good enough for our customers. So we inject each patty with a flavor bulb of your choice. When it fully gestates, you're ready to see how we turn each seven into a 10. Burger Palace, new name, new process, same great taste. New process. Uh, all right, couple of choices here. I was hoping to wait for a technology upgrade, but if you look, like, technology here, I guess maybe would be where we take that. Um, at a place with high unrest. Um, I actually wonder... I think we should probably reduce City Anarchy right now. It's only a five-turn cooldown? Look at this, too. If you get everyone to plus uh, to rank two, you get to remove two. And if everyone's ranked three, you get to remove three uh, City Anarchy. Wow. Okay, that's really strong. So what I'm considering is upgrading the security to rank two. And then we'll take a technology one with our next free field team. The reason I want to do that is so we get max reduction here. Oh, actually, that's right. I can't even do this yet. I can't even do that yet. I'm gonna go here. This one will go up. We have to take this over the intel because uh, this is gonna hit max. So tomorrow we're gonna have plus two points of anarchy. Let's do this. Put that on cooldown. And then we take the support 31 PD raid. We get plus two points here. Uh, oh, no, we only get plus one. That's right. So, the, yeah, the way that it works is if anything is in the uh, is in the red, then we we take the plus one there. Um, so realistically. Realistically, like this one we have to wait on. This is for credits, which would be good. But what I can do is freeze this one, prevent that from going on. Then we go to the Anarchy mission. And then this one's available next. 
New supply items, cease fire bombs, smoke bomb, and flash bombs. Very good. Uh, what do we want to do next? Probably the enhanced SMGs. Um, getting field teams to rank three soon. There's some that would be eligible. I think we take the SMGs. Training here, spec ops here. We do have somebody idle, but there's not much I can do about that currently. So yeah, I think we freeze here. We take this out. We take another point of anarchy. It's fine. Ah, uh, this is going to be hard. This will be tough. Three projected encounters. Uh, we all have med kits, sure, but I wonder if we shouldn't bring... Well, actually... Yeah, do I bring terminal on this mission? Everybody here is adding value. Like, for sure. But I wonder if... Hmm. Door and security door. So... Let's give him this breaching charge, or the uh, auto key card. So he can lead whenever that comes up. I'm leaning towards removing um, Verge. For terminal. Just so that we have the healing, these missions, these uh, emergency missions, are really intense, especially over three rounds. So it kind of scares me a bit. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, we didn't actually switch. Okay, Verge in there. Uh, let's remove these. Okay. And then we build out terminal. Surly constant hail of bullets. Flux weave. Grant immunity to disorientation and stun. We've seen disorient happen like once. To our guys. On that last mission actually. Um... Let's go to the Mach Weave. Reaching charge is fine. And then she has that extra slot. So she can actually carry all this stuff. Extra med kit. Shock grenade. Um, so this is good for robotic damage, I guess. Stuns units in the affected area. Okay. So it's for stunning and dealing damage to robotics. It's fine. And the motile inducer, of course. Okay. So I think this is how we're going to roll in. Med kits on everybody. And then we have... We, <laughs> we might need you, Moon. Might need you. You can take the flux weave. <laughs> sure. Nano med kit. Cease fire. Okay. Torque Axiom Blue Blood Terminal. Maybe Moon. If this is, um, if this ends up being a super long attempt, then I'll make it into a separate video, but...